with Achiba Nokata and Ishido having taken action. Lord Toronaga is prepared to implement the Crimson Sky plot as Shogun Episode 6 closes. When Achiba reminded Ishido that she is the one he must answer to after her return to Osaka at the conclusion of Shogun Episode 5, the show's status quo was altered. Lord Toranaga, who is modeled after Tokugawa Yasu, was forced to get his warriors ready for battle when Sujiyama was killed for refusing to cast his vote in favor of Achiba no Kata. Toranaga is currently on his way to Osaka, where he intends to overthrow the regents and install himself as Shogun. With Ishido's assistance, Achiba no Kata, the sole consort of the Teiko to bear him a child, is in charge of the regents. In addition to being the heir's mother, Achiba is seeking revenge for her father's passing and the life that was once taken from her. Before the last four episodes of the drama, Ladies of the Willow World makes it apparent where each Shogun character stands and what they are fighting for. The significance of Lord Toranaga's Crimson Sky scheme for Shogun. Tota Hiramatsu was the one who originally mentioned Crimson Sky, an old last resort scheme that calls for a single, brutal assault against Osaka Castle. Removing Ishido and the other regents from their roles and leaving Yashai Toranaga as the only regent would be the aim. In essence, this would make Toranaga the Shogun. But at first, Toranaga was unwilling to think about going straight after Ishido. The Lord of Kanto said that they would be heading straight into Doom since they lacked adequate allies. That Achiba no Kata and Ishido were prepared to go to any lengths was demonstrated by the killing of a regent. Furthermore, Toranaga reiterated that he had no desire to become Shogun. Tarana told his son and his most reliable ally to find another way, but he insisted on an urgent strike. Still, Toranaga realized that Crimson Sky was his last remaining alternative when Sujiyama was slain while attempting to flee Osaka. Achiba no Kata was battling without honor, as the Lord of Kanto had pointed out earlier in the episode. Therefore her actions were certain to be brutal and unexpected. That Achiba no Kata and Ishido were prepared to go to any lengths was demonstrated by the killing of a regent. As Lord Toranaga prepares to unleash Crimson Sky onto Osaka, the upcoming episodes of Shogun are anticipated to revolve upon warfare. Currently serving as one of Toranaga's generals, John Blackthorn will be in charge of the Cannon Regiment. But they will not yet have nearly enough soldiers to conquer Osaka. Toranaga believes that by siding with his half-brother Siki Nabutatsu, they will have a better chance of defeating Ishido and Osaka. The conflict that Shogun has been hinting at since the start of the program is now here, with just four episodes remaining. Everything about Achiba no Kata's past that Shogun Episode 6 teases. A great deal of Achiba no Kata's scheme and past were disclosed in Episode 6. Achiba, formerly known as Ruri by Shogun's Lady Mariko, is the daughter of Kuroda, Shogun's reincarnation of Oda Nobunaga. Similar to his real-life counterpart, one of Ruri's soldiers betrayed him and murdered him. This man was Mariko's father, Aichai Jinsai. Achiba felt helpless and without a place to go after Aichai Jinsai rebelled against his master and she simultaneously lost her father and best friend. Her life was shattered, yet she never lost her spirit. The Teiko's wife would thereafter extend an invitation to her to become their consort. Achiba would become Achiba no Kata from now on, and should she be able to produce an heir for the Teiko, she would rise to prominence across the nation. Achiba took the offer, eventually becoming the mother of the Teiko family's lone heir, since she wished for vengeance and to restore what had been taken from her. Achiba no Kata sided with the regents when the Teiko passed away because she thought Toranaga posed a threat to her son. The reasons behind Achiba no Kata's war against Toranaga Even while Ishido was attempting to take action against Toranaga before, with Achiba's return to Osaka, things are now happening much more quickly. The heir's mother harbors personal animosity for Toranaga's in addition to believing he intends to seize power and become Shogun. Although the specifics of Kuroda's death remain unknown, Achiba feels Toranaga was the one holding the strings. Even though Achiba seemed to believe that her retaliation won't end until Toranaga is also vanquished, Aichai Jinsai was slain not long after his treachery. Lord Ito, who is he? An explanation of Toranaga's replacement in the Council of Regents. Sending a resignation letter to the Council of Regents, who must always have the complete support of five members in order for a decision to be approved, was a calculated move on the part of Toranaga. It was necessary to select a new fifth member, but that member would also need to support the vote to end Toranaga's life. Because Ishido was taking too long to get the council back together, Achiba no Kata took them all prisoner, allowing them to leave the castle only once a decision was made. Although not all regents were pleased with this ruse, Lord Ito was selected as a substitute. Why Sujiyama was killed by Ishido in Shogun Episode 6 While Lord Ito and four other regents voted to have Toranaga killed, Lord Sujiyama disobeyed Ishido and Achiba no Taka. Sujiyama declared that he would not support Achiba and Ishido's choices since they were endangering the air. Ishido then proposed impeaching Sujiyama as well, but Achiba pointed out that it would take too long. The heir's mother is eager to get rid of Toranaga and does not have time for the same games Ishido was. She gave Ishido the order to murder Sujiyama before he could depart from Osaka. Sujiyama's demise conveyed to Toranaga and the other lords alike that Achiba would show no mercy to anyone who opposed her. With Achiba no Taka in charge of Osaka and determined to solidify her hold on the city, Yashiai is forced to implement the Crimson Sky Scheme. 
It should come as no surprise that Shogun Episode 6 focused nearly exclusively on Achiba and her background given that the Council of Regents is now only an extension of her will. Episode 6 of Shogun reveals Lord Tarana's true objective. It is evident from Shogun Episode 6 that Lord Toranaga does not wish to take on the role of Shogun, but that he will not wait for an attack by Ishido and Achiba. This is the reason he subsequently felt that planning an assault against Osaka was the only way to halt Ishido, even if at first he hesitated to do so. Being close to the Taiko, Toranaga want to safeguard the air, but in order to do so, he must overthrow the council and take the lone regent position. In order to prevail in the battle, Lord Toranaga's Crimson Sky will need to be extremely accurate given the strength of the daimyos against him. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.